today. From Bills Stadium in Orchard Park, New York. It's week eight of the NFL on EA Sports. It's the Buffalo Bills taking on the New York Jets. We are about 15 miles south of downtown Buffalo at Bill Stadium in Orchard Park. The folks in Buffalo love their Bills, and a moment ago they entered to the delight of this sold-out crowd. They're set for football as their Bills will do battle with the New York Jets. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. Out comes the offense for the Bills, led by their quarterback at six foot five. That's Josh Allen. And in this league, there are many quarterbacks who have their most success running the ball, while there are others who have big arms. But there aren't too many guys who can do both. And at the end of many games, this guy leads his team not just in passing, but in rushing as well. Devin Singletary with his first carry of the game. Oh, what a juke into space! And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. That O-line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only are they controlling things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get upfield to get to what we call the second and the third levels. You know, get to linebacker spot, the secondary spot, getting all the way downfield with their blocking, which helps keep the running back clean. They'll try to continue that trend here this afternoon. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Calling no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. The Jets will bring in a nickel set as they try to stop this third down. To the air, Allen. And the Jets pressure too much as down he goes. Carl Lawson with a little how do you do as he gets in there for the sack. Now Jordan Berry on to kick this one away. They only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. And a great job on special teams to down it as this will be marked out inside the five-yard line. So here are the Jets now backed up to start their first drive. And a look here at their go-to guy under center. So this is where we find out about the game plan and the trust factor, don't we? In this situation, the natural thing is take care of the ball. Run it inside. Everyone cover it. Just, you know, get yourself some room and let your punter punt it out of there. But when you really got a QB you can trust, you might want to take a little shot early and try to create some space. And a really good show of force there as he gets through for four tough yards. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. They're going to look to throw, eluding the pressure right. Airing one out for Crowder. A battle for it, and it's intercepted. Tredavious White with a pick, and they'll set up shop right near midfield at the 49-yard line. They'll run on first down with Singletary. These are his numbers from last week's contest. 15 carries, 85 yards. How about we shot a little spotlight on the offensive line? Those big guys up front are creating nice space, nice gaps for them to run through. I think he's going to go for over 100 yards in this game. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. Now these two teams met up earlier in the year, back in week four, and it was the visitors getting the win there, so they'll be looking for the sweep back here at home. 
Allen's throw pulled in by Gronkowski. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. They go backwards there two yards, and second and one is now third and three. Now Allen. And he's going to be taken down. Pressure gets there back at the 39-yard line. John Franklin Myers coming in to drop him for a loss of eight, and it also brings up fourth. And that is no good. And this will remain a scoreless game. Everything looked good. Good snap, good hold. Sometimes, though, the ball just doesn't want to go where you want it. And this one winds up no good. They'll start the drive with a run by Gordon. And he works his way forward for about four up to the midfield stripe. The numbers a week ago for Melvin Gordon. 17 carries, 114 yards, and a score. And that's 10 touchdowns on the season for him on the ground. And remember our meeting with the coaching staff. They did share with us that one of their goals for the year was for him to get in the end zone at least 10 times. And that ramps up into their bigger goal to try and get 20 overall as a team. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And he's going to be swallowed up. Sacked back at the 45-yard line. Randy Gregory. He's the culprit. Causes a loss of five, and it brings up fourth down. And now the up man has it. It's a fake. A little trickeration there, but it doesn't fool this defense. And the Bills are going to take over in excellent field position. First down, Singletary. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. We're scoreless after one. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Here's Allen. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. They were looking for Johnson that time. Third down here. Looked like he had a couple of different options as far as who to throw to on that play. And who am I to say this, but I'm not sure he made the right decision. Well, the window of opportunity is always going to be small in the NFL. That's why those quarterbacks who make quick decisions and have quick releases have the most success in this league. And this kick is not going to be close. It's well short, well right to boot. And this will remain a scoreless game. So it's a rare two-miss ball game for him now. Normally one of the more dependable guys you're going to find around. Very unlike him. One of the better kickers in the NFL. And I don't think there's anything wrong with him physically or mechanically. He's just having one of those games. And he'll take it across midfield and into Buffalo territory. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. They'll look to throw. Here's the tight end. This is Landry. That was a round run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Now this one complete to Corey Davis. Touchdown! Corey Davis, his fifth touchdown now on the year. As his guys are first out of the scoreboard here this afternoon. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it ends with a Jet touchdown. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. This will be fielded inside the five. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. 
And last time out, another missed field goal. So maybe their confidence wavering a little bit right now in the kicking game. And I'm with you on that. I think at this stage, they'd love to not run him back out there in a tough situation. But let's face it, they may have to. So right now, the head coach is talking to the offense coordinator and saying, call this game like we're going to put it in the end zone. Let's try and take the field goal out of it. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short. So it'll be third and less than a yard. They'll try and run for this with Singletary. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. Second down, here's a run with Singletary. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. 40 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. Coming up at halftime, we remind you once again that we're going to check in with Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL as we reach now, hard to believe, the halfway point of the season. Time flying. It certainly is. Time to get the sweaters out, my man. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. This is a draw play. Allen gives to Singletary. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. And now the field goal team on for Buffalo. From the left hash, it's an even 50-yard attempt. And Boswell's kick is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. Well, the good news, at least they won't take that goose egg into the locker room. Maybe a little something to build on. Yeah, it hasn't been the greatest of first halves for them, has it? But at least now, as you mentioned, they put some points on the board. And it's been funny in our experience watching games. Sometimes something as little as a field goal can change the fortunes of a team. And they can come out and look real sharp in the second half. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And with a 7-3 lead, we'll see how aggressive they want to be. Out to his left. He'll air this one out deep for Davis. A leap, and he's got it. He got it. And he is finally out of bounds, but not before taking it down inside the 30. A big play there just before halftime. They'll look to throw here on first down. That's pulled in the veteran Carter Landry. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. They'll try and punch it in. Gordon. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. A bit of a surprise. They're going for it with two ticks remaining. No side of the field goal unit. Again, Gordon face. on second and goal. And this time he is in. Yes. Melvin Gordon as time expires in the first half. And the Jets will extend their lead here just before halftime. They're going to give it to Gordon. And he's going to go down in the field of play. So they say no to the field goal try. And time has run out on this first half. So we've reached halftime with the visiting Jets on top. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon. Good work in that first half. More from you guys in a minute. But first, let's get to some scores right here on the day before Halloween. 
We'll begin our tour up at First Energy Stadium in Cleveland. And it's the Dolphins who are out in front in the second quarter. A touchdown run there for Sony Michelle. From there, we'll head to Green Bay. Check out the Packers at home, Lambeau. And at the half, they are down to the visiting New York Giants. Sterling Shepard, a touchdown catch in that first half. Finally, let's get to Indianapolis to check on the Colts at home at Lucas Oil Stadium. And they trail the visiting Lions in that one. DeAndre Swift accounting for the lone scoring thus far as he's cashed in with a touchdown run. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a back-and-forth first half. Who can put it together in the second half for the answer? We turn it back over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The question to be asked, where does this game go from here as we are back at it now on EA Sports? And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. Hey, Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half they didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it, but I think these first couple of drives, they'll want to get those running backs going and give them more opportunities, and I will guarantee you that those guys were lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. Forced out to his left. Looking here for Smith downfield. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Micah Hyde. And the Bills are going to take over here at their own 22-yard line. Out into the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 22. Off the play fake, Allen. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he's got some space here. And deep he goes into Jets territory before being taken down. A big play there on the catch and run. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. So the shotgun snap to Allen. And he finds Gronk. Not much there, only a yard. Here's second and nine. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. A gain of two there on the heels of a one-yard pickup on first. Throwing is Allen on third. Buying time to his left. And he's able to pick up the first before he's brought down inside the five at the four. And that's disappointing for the defense. They had the advantage, had excellent coverage all over the field, but they let him get away, scramble, and pick up a first down and inside the five-yard line. Moss. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. And now they'll throw with Allen. Got a man, it's Johnson, end zone, touchdown Buffalo. A great play there, his first touchdown on the year, and the Bills draw a bit closer. Chris Boswell now for the extra point. And he puts it through there within three, it's 13 to 10. So the drive there took six plays, and it culminates in a Bills touchdown. This one fielded at the five. Maybe it don't matter. It's okay. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. Steps away. Now he'll let it go on the run. Deep left side. A 
fight for it, and this is caught. It's caught indeed. Big yardage that time for the Jets. They'll look to throw now on first down. Uncorks one for Davis, and it'll be incomplete. Good job staying with him defensively, and it'll bring up second down. Back to throw again. Sliding out of the pocket. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Picked off by Micah Hyde. And the Bills are going to get this back. The young quarterback, Charles, rolling to his right. I know he's right-handed, but is that one that maybe a veteran sticks in his pocket? I think so, but you have to remember with young quarterbacks, it may take a few years before they get all the stuff out of them that they did earlier in their career or even in their college days when they were used to being dominant. In this case, the NFL veteran defense ended up winning the battle. On second down now, Singletary. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. 50 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. They'll run here with Singletary. And he'll be brought down at the 50 after a gain of about five. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. They'll take that any time you hand the ball to him back. From midfield, here's Allen. Looking for Beasley. Got him on his slant. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. Three quarters have come and gone. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. He'll get this out wide to Singletary. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. So third down, and a field goal from here would be right about 50 yards as they try to get closer. On the give, this is Singletary. And he gets it to the 32, good enough for a first down. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. They went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. Dancing to his left. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. To throw a talent. And he'll get this underneath to Singletary. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 17-yard line. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. They'll run on first down with Moss. And he's eaten up at the line of scrimmage. Might have gotten a yard down to the 16. Still nine remaining on second down. False start there. That will set the offense back five yards. Brandon, the lineman certainly flinched there before the snap. A good call. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Allen now looks to throw. Being chased out left. And he'll slide to a halt here. Still a little shy of the first down marker. The Bills on third down. Three for seven so far in this game. This is third and eight. On third down, they go with Singletary. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. So here we go. On now is the kicker, Chris Boswell. This just a 24-yard attempt. Boswell's kick is good. And the Bills have tied the game here in the fourth. When you talk about clutch, that one was right down Broadway, and this game's all even here in the fourth. Yeah, he didn't leave any doubt, did he? Good snap, good hold, dead center. Almost like a big-time golfer in a major. 
firing at a pin from the fairway trying to win the tournament going down the stretch. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And three interceptions in this game. And I would have to think, I wasn't a quarterback, but number four is kind of, oh, you're like, oh, man, I can't throw four. No, and what's interesting is what do the coaches decide to do now? Having thrown three, do you alter your offensive strategy? Do you take the ball out of his hands and maybe turn to the running game? Or do you have that supreme confidence that he's going to turn things around? <laughs> we'll see what they do. And he still doesn't have a catch. We're into the second half. I think it's a little bit of a surprise to me, but that was one he should have caught. Absolutely. That was his best opportunity right there. He dropped it. He's going to look deep for more. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. And that ball incomplete. He couldn't work free from his defender, and now it's third down. Off the play fake. He'll look to throw. Airing one out for Crowder. And this is going to be intercepted. Tredavious White with a pick. And a return across midfield into the 46-yard line. Well, CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about it. He shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on-the-job training. So he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. On second down, Singletary. And a very similar result again. The Jets' defense once more stopping him behind the line. Third down, trying to get a little bit closer. From here, the field goal would be 55 yards. They go right back to Singletary. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. This to take the lead here in the final minute. And that is no good. I hit it well from distance, but he couldn't work it back in. And a costly one there as this game remains tied here in the fourth. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Steps away to his left. That'll be incomplete as the clock will stop with 14 seconds remaining. Elijah Moore, the intended receiver. But it'll be second down. They'll set up to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Davis. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. And we will get a timeout with two ticks left. So it all rests now on the right foot of the kicker, Matt Gay. And we will get a timeout with two ticks left. So it all rests now on the right foot of the kicker, Matt Gay. This will be from 53 for the win. This looks good. It is good. He hits it from 53 yards out. And the city will be alive tonight. The Jets have won it. So it's a victory here for the New York Jets. And you've got to say, CD, it was the defense who had a big part in the W. Well, without question, when you force four turnovers, you get to enjoy the spoils of victory, don't you? It's rare that you force four turnovers and lose a ball game. That's almost unheard of. They carried this one home. He talked about celebrating with each other and being in a position where going forward, all you think about is, let's get five next time. They're going to be on the hunt. So for the Jets, they run their mark to 6-2 and two on the year. And they will head home next week to take on the Minnesota Vikings. Meanwhile, for Buffalo, they dip to 2-5 and five now with the loss. And they'll try again next week at home against New England. I'm Brandon Gordon, certainly have to thank. I was talking.